Okay, in this lesson we're just going to talk briefly about our hips leading our hands. And so in the start of the swing lesson, we talked about dropping the heel, how the knee turns in, and how that gets our lower body going and gets our hips moving. And so really this lesson isn't anything new, it's just that you want to make sure that you continue that lower half going. I see a lot of young players that hit mainly with their arms, meaning that their hips, even when they're done, aren't opening up. They're not using that lower body. And so we've got a good start with the start of our swing. We're coming out on our stride, we're heel drop, we're getting that back knee moving, so the hips are starting to go. Now the main thing with this lesson is just make sure those hips completely clear open. Okay, so we want, when we're done, we want our belly button facing towards the pitcher. Okay, so we want to make sure those hips completely open as they go through. Now with an outside pitch, if I'm hitting an outside pitch a little bit farther back, on contact those hips aren't going to be quite as open at that point as they will be on an inside pitch. But we still want to continue and follow through and have those hip, hips open on follow through. So we want to get used to having those hips completely open. So what we're going to do is we're just going to work on a little bit of drill here that doesn't involve a bat to kind of get the feel for having those hips open. So just put your hands on your hips and you're going to get into your stance. Okay. What we're going to do is we're just going to coil. So we're just going to tip our knee in. We're going to stride out onto a soft front foot and then the second part of this is then to fire those hips. So again, we're going to do the heel drop and the knee. Okay, so that's going to be our start of it, just like it was before, and then just continue along and fire those hips. Okay, so the way it looks, I'm just going to do it, it's called a one-two drill. So the one is going to be the stride out, the two is to drop the heel and then fire the hips open. Okay, so hands on hips, okay, we're going to go one and then two, and we're going to fire those hips open. Okay, we still want to keep in a good balanced position. Can be a little bit more difficult with your hands on your hips because it's because a little bit uh, different than what you're normally doing with your bat. But it's a good way just to check and make sure you can get those hips open. So we're right here. Okay, so we're one striding out. Hold it for a second. Two firing that open. So that's our one-two drill, and you can do that uh, to get used to making sure that you get those hips open and uh, use those hips throughout your swing. On completion of that drill, a couple things that you can check. One, are you hitting off a stiff front leg? Okay, we don't want to bend down. Okay, we don't want our head drop. We don't want to take our stride and then drop down. Okay, we get our heel up, but we want our front leg to be stiff. We want to keep that eye level the same. So, check, am I stiff front leg, hitting off that stiff front leg? Two, are my hips open? Do I have those hips open? Is my belly pointing? belly button pointing at the pitcher, and three is my heel up. Okay, Do I have that heel up to make sure that I'm allowing that to rotate? Again, one of those problems is somebody that locks out their back heel and doesn't get that around. You cannot completely get your hips open unless that heel's coming up. So those are some things to check for when you're doing your one-two drill.